Now that you have your nether tree from all built up and running to specs, you're wondering, I don't need no warp stems, I actually need crimson ones. How do I switch out the uh, nylium? And I've got the solution for you a bit later on in this episode, but first let's do a proper introduction. Hello, boys and girls, my name is Otsusti and welcome back to another day in Minecraft. We are at the nether tree farm that I built in the last episode and today it gets a building around it. That will have to wait though, as I have to run an around or two first. So, first order of business here in the uh, nether, excuse me out of my face is we need a basalt generator and this will go in uh, this corner here I tried to uh, outline the uh, the walls a bit so I know where uh, this goes so let's start with putting down the the output chest which will be let's place it here and then in there we have five hoppers uh, one more right and then we will stand on here and on top of these we will have soul sand and on top of that of course it's a dangerous place to nettle um, On top of here we will have the ice. All right, it was not the uh, ice that was wrong. It was the soul sand below because it needs to be soil, soil, not sand. So let's put in the right kind of eyes first, then finish off the glass, and I also have the last bucket of lava here. And then um, we can soul sand, soul soil. So, right. And with that, we should see. Exactly that. So let's cap this off here as well. And just do another layer of glass on top of the eyes so nothing happens to our precious eyes. Right. And then I can do this, stand here, and mine. And it's so fast I cannot even break uh, all five blocks. I completed the decoration and uh, while I uh, 
was added I also uh, created the staircase uh, up here and one uh, down there uh, but from the outs outside it's a pretty eyesore so um, I will have something to do with it and this design which is basically following the one from in here it's not that ideal for uh, uh, staircases um, I think in here in the room it works because it's it's broken up it's it's open and it's broken up uh, with the uh, lanterns but as soon as the uh, rooms get smaller and especially uh, uh, staircases there is no room for uh, lanterns and uh, it all looks a bit uh, awkward and uh, and plain but at least we have a way down here now so uh, progress has been made and now on to the next bit next item on the list is uh, fixing the blaze spawner uh, since I built it two episodes ago I have not really used it uh, and I think the way to go is uh, currently I have this this uh, uh, parallel lava stream that comes forward and then here one wide gap where the uh, blazes uh, can go down and what would probably work better is having something that goes in from the corner and then a two wide gap that uh, pushes them down below here and the trick here is do all that without dying and at least I have some uh, fire resistance potions so that should that should help but probably also lighting up uh, the uh, area a bit so that um, not too many uh, blazes are spawning so let's get to it as you can see this form is now upgraded with lava flowing from the back corners to the front here in the middle pushing every place down here where I can uh, whack them until they are no more and it works considerably uh, better than before and while I was here I also continued the design from up there down here and now I can consider this farm done as well and that means we can move on to the item that I promised in the beginning figuring out how to deal with that item and building the building and now as promised I will show you how you can switch out the warped nylium for the crimson one and for that purpose I created uh, this little contraption with a trap door here on the side where the glass is so switching the trap door I can get under here break these two glass blocks and then uh, remember we cannot break those blocks because there are minecarts under it but we can place uh, non-opaque blocks on top of them and this will actually eventually revert the, the nylium to netherrack and we can place one block of the red of the crimson one here and we can break this block and bone meal that one. Et voila! 
and you might have to wait a while uh, because the, uh, the blocks are revert uh, based on uh, on random tick but that's how you do it and in the end you block everything off again and then you can turn on your machine again looking at these three tall buildings uh, I have to say I like this one the most so this was an experiment did not come out that great um, that one is also quite nice but uh, I still like this the best so uh, I will create uh, something very similar uh, for this here but with a slightly nether themed uh, block palette and I'm excited how it will turn out so uh, for the last segment of this episode let's start the time-lapse and build this skyscraper You might be wondering why not going directly to the interesting bit right from the start of the episode. The answer is simple. I needed the basalt first for which we built the farm and blackstone second that was parted for while doing the decorations and finished the blaze spawner. I'm quite happy how this build turned out. I only did a small portion of it in creative to figure out the block palette. The difficulty with this tower is that in contrast to the sandstone one it cannot taper off symmetrically due to the lopsided placement of the farm below. Tapering it on, on the back and on one side makes for a nice change that almost reminds me of the Burj Al Arab in Dubai, if it weren't for the colors. It was a bit tricky to figure out the right decoration so that it does not look as flat as it is or a jumbled mess. You might also see it that the red nether brick wall and the red nether brick appear of different color while they are actually the same. The different appearance is probably due to the shading of the wall. And there you have it, the finished product, which looks magnificent, especially uh, during the night time with the uh, light from the inside shining through here. I actually might add some additional light uh, here in the, the middle part just because it looks so great but this has been all for this episode so hope you enjoyed it and next time we will have also a mix of different buildings and projects uh, not quite yet sure what but uh, stay tuned hit the subscribe button and I will see you soon goodbye